Well, hello friends and followers. Here's a tour of the underside of the National NC303 receiver that I recently acquired from eBay. So I've been digging around in here, trying to figure out what the state of the union is. To get this thing out of the case, there's a bunch of screws in the bottom, which were not attached, they were gone. There were screws in the back on the case that were gone. So this was only held in by, by four screws on the cabinet. And so it made its UPS journey to me okay with those screws. The uh, front of this cabinet is an eighth inch piece of, I'm supposing steel. So it seemed to survive and it's, bolted to its chassis with nice thick bolts. So this thing was built in 1955, I think roughly. You figure the World War II was going on until 47, 48. So that influence of quality of how to build things mil spec, I think permeated into this radio. Plus I suppose it had the R390 as a contender or thereabouts very close. So. Anyway, so here's the uh, inside of it. And this this whole thing here is for the bandwidth, which really blew my mind. But this whole assembly here is simply bandwidth. And sure enough, there's the IF cans there, so it makes sense. But here's the uh, bandwidth control. And it controls that whole shaft and does lots of changes to the IF strip. So that's how that works. I want to check this IF here for uh, linearity and make sure it's on frequency. Probably is, but the radio works pretty darn good the way it is. And there's one weird spooky thing in here. So here, I guess this is the oscillator section here. And there's a really crusty part in here that's just awful looking. You can see it looks like a, uh, it looks like it has barnacles on it. See that thing with the, looks like it has like sugar coating on it. Anyway, that's, I'm not sure what that thing is yet, but it's probably something to be replaced. I am not sure if people were in this thing yet or not. It seems like. It seems like people were in here. I'm thinking, I don't know if these green guys are green heat shrink or whatever insulation is true to form or people were in here. Yeah, that's definitely somebody hacked that in there. You can see where they've uh, joined a piece of wire. So people have been here trying to keep this thing going, it looks like. At any rate, I was sort of horrified at all the band switching in this thing. Um, and it's funny how it had some leaching of moisture in through the uh, sealed wire conduits. Really funny. Anyway, this is the part that matters. I guess this is the front end. Well, it all matters. And there's little wires in here you can tweak with, which I heard you shouldn't tweak with. So you tune these, I think, inside by bending wires. I really don't want to do that. I think we can thank Mr. Millen for that because I read it doesn't change the cue of the coil to tune it that way. So at any rate, I did my best to clean these out. This is really difficult to detox and clean, and you just don't want to break anything. So... Gave it a little bit of cleaning, but I can't say it was to my specs of how I've done the drakes. I just can't get in there. But it looks clean otherwise. Yeah, I think there's been some diddling in here. And there's a 
special power. I wouldn't say it's tube, like a resistor that is supposed to regulate the current to the heater on the oscillator. I'm guessing, let's see, oscillator. I'm guessing the oscillator is going to be probably these right here. I'm thinking those are all the oscillators, I'm guessing, but I better know. I'm going to tune this thing up later, so I better know all the different. I, I might actually mark these because you know what? Just write down what they are. It's ridiculous to be in here and look at a diagram. Just I don't care if it has marks on it. So what else is obviously bad in here? They talk about paper caps in the di in the schematic. Looks like they replaced a bunch of stuff. This thing looks new. There's an old domino cap. These might have been the papers right here that they replaced. So, and the joints look crappy or what? You can always tell people are in these things, but I can't say that my repair work is that great either, really. But yeah, maybe I've lucked out that this thing has been partially looked after by somebody. All right, so I want to fix the uh, mechanical here, at least grease up this uh, detent here for the band switch. It's built like a tank. Check out the big gear in there. And this band selector thing is like amazing mechanical. Somebody had written in Eham that this was a mechanical marvel and it, it truly is. I, I can't get the band switch to um, move these this rod on, on this band switch coil. So I'm hoping there's not some weight. And I got the thing we had a sink, but I guess we'll figure that out. Anyway, that's the underside of this thing. It's almost between like commercial mill spec quality and military quality and like maybe bitter ham stuff, but it's built really well. All right, that's about it for this little rendition. If I can figure out how to tune this thing up with the generator, I'll go through that with people and show how that works. It, it works pretty well as it is. I, I just want to get the scales perfect for the uh, slide roll tuning so that it's perfect that way. And I've tried not to be too excited. I've tried not to be in a hurry with this one because I used to hurry through the drakes and I didn't make any mistakes, but I don't know this radio, so I don't have any real innate knowledge on, oh yeah, you do it this way. This is like brand new stuff for me. So I did detox these, but I couldn't get into the I couldn't get into the middle. It's too near too close. So I just squirted some stuff in there. Well, actually, I didn't even do that. These detox can make this stuff expand. I think these are called phenolic or something. So I didn't want to get in there and screw with those. So maybe half of the uh, wafers are cleaned up. And the same with these. I did squirt a lot of detox in here because that seems like it's ceramic. But I didn't go crazy with this one. Just try to swap it out. And that's about it, so. Let's see what this thing will do. Yeah, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with it. Hey, thanks for watching, and have a great day.